places that have it all. Perfect spots to live, work, and play. Join me as we explore one interesting and inspiring community. Strategically situated between Tampa and Naples and within about 150 miles of Orlando and Miami, the city of Cape Coral, Florida packs plenty of opportunities to live, work, and to play. This family-friendly city is the largest in Florida's southwest region, home to more than 154,000 residents and a multitude of businesses and industries. Cape Coral is an amazing place. It's a big city with a small town feel. And it's the combination of a fantastic lifestyle coupled with affordable yet beautiful waterfront housing that makes us unique in the world. At 120 square miles, this vibrant community is geographically bigger than some of our nation's best known cities with more boater friendly canals than Venice, Italy. With build out 50 years away, Cape Coral offers significant room for growth. We chose Cape Coral. Um, the city is beautiful, and as a small business owner, the city really backed us up and supported us all the way. It's a great tourism area. We have people flying in from all over the country, Scotland, Ireland, and Canada, and it's just great tourism, lots of eatery, lots of shopping, lots of fun, great weather, great people. For companies looking to relocate or expand, Florida offers a favorable tax climate for businesses and has no personal income tax. Cape Coral provides a skilled workforce of nearly 75,000, a competitive cost of living, and easy access to Southwest Florida International Airport and Interstate 75. Cape Coral began as a bedroom community, but to meet the demands of our residents, we have to add more commercial space and businesses. We're doing this through rezoning, creating customized incentives, and also investment zones to help encourage businesses to relocate to Cape Coral. Cape Coral has a low crime rate, an attractive mix of homes, a highly rated municipal charter school system, and top-notch healthcare facilities. The city has several investment zones to help businesses to relocate, such as the Veterans Investment Zone, the Community Redevelopment Area, and Commercial Activity Centers. Cape Coral offers two foreign trade zones to encourage business exports and international trade newly annexed tracts of land for large business development and a customized incentive program. Cape Coral's new 220,000 square foot regional VA medical clinic provides an anchor for development of other health care and service businesses. The city of Cape Coral and our company have been excellent partners over the past eight to ten years. We've developed over a million square feet in the city of Cape Coral and the city and the city staff and elected officials understand what it takes to get a project done in the city. We believe this is one of the best jurisdictions to work in in the state of Florida. A number of commercial projects underway near the clinic will afford businesses many opportunities to take advantage of this synergy. With over 400 miles of canals, this coastal city is perfect for boating, for fishing, and water sports. Cape Coral is also a great spot for marine-related businesses. We're really excited and have already begun talking with Cape Coral and the Cape Coral Economic Development Offices about our expansions for next year and looking for the greater opportunities that we're looking for here and wanting to stay with the city of Cape Coral. With its supportive business environment, family-friendly nature, and vacation-worthy amenities, it's easy to see why so many are making Cape Coral their home or getaway destination. Well, if you love water, this is the place to be. We have canals, we have access to the Gulf of Mexico, so if you're a boater, a fisherman, or a kayaker, this is the place to be. We also have a tremendous amount of parks, and we have a lot of festivals, uh, always, always finding something to do here in Cape Coral. With so much to offer, Cape Coral lives up to its reputation as a natural fit for work and for play. There's a lot to pack into a trip to Southwest Florida. Here are a few activities that are a must on any traveler's itinerary. Stroll along the 50 miles of beautiful, unspoiled beachfront, and you'll probably feel a crunch along the way. Sanibel and Captiva Islands are renowned as the country's top shelling spots. This is the Sanibel Stoop. This is how we spend our afternoon seeking 
that wild and fabulous next best shell. Beachcombers can brush up on their finds at the Bailey Matthews Shell Museum, home to hundreds of shells, mollusks, and fossils. Nature lovers will find a lot to like in Southwest Florida with unparalleled access to native plant and animal life. Set up camp among Caloosahatchee Regional Park's 768 acres of vast and varied woodland. So a lot more shady. It's a nice place to hike, especially in the summertime because you have the shade and it's typically maybe five, 10 degrees cooler there. Hickey's Creek is an 862 acre public park in East Lee County. A huge variety of plant life thrives here, proving Florida is much more than just palm trees. Visit the home of two of America's most legendary inventors. Built in the late 1800s, the Edison and Ford Winter Estates are a portal to a bygone era. Uh, we call it, you know, science, art, history, beautiful environment, all of that just packed into one site. Wander through an authentic old Florida village at the Sanibel Historic Museum. I think a visitor will find what life was like uh, at the turn of the century. Both novice and pro paddlers can navigate the pristine waters of the Great Calusa Blue Way. Kayaking is supreme. Canoe and Kayak Magazine many times over has said that we are one of the top ten places in the nation to paddle. We have a good chance of seeing lots of wildlife here. Seagoing charter boats give visitors the chance to get close to some of Southwest Florida's most popular residents. We have a population of maybe two or three hundred Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. <laughs> it's basically a wildlife watcher's paradise. How was the trip? Excellent. Excellent. Spot alligators and over 230 bird species along the drivable safari trail through Ding Darling National Wildlife Refuge. If you want some peace and quiet and you want to enjoy nature, this is the place to come. The kid-friendly Sanibel Sea School offers a fun introduction to the region's rich marine life. We'll put them into buckets, we'll hold them up, we'll have a look at them, we'll try to understand a little bit about what makes a fish a fish. Wildlife, family fun, and some of the best beach activities in the country.